we will talk on floating houses today floating houses are constructed on similar principle of floating foundation floating term in the foundation engineering is used when the soil beneath the footing does not experience any extra load as the load of the structure is equal or less than the soil displaced it means whatever soil is displaced the load of structure is less hence the soil which was experience the load of soil which has been excavated is only experience experiencing similar load or less load therefore the foundation is called as floating foundation floating houses are similar in concept and normally defined those houses which are constructed on water in a way that the load of the structure is equal or less than uplift of the water which helps in floating the house on water in fact we know that water exerts the pressure upward pressure or uplift pressure on every object and it is the weight of the objects which takes down the object into the water and if the uplift pressure is more then the object will float therefore floating houses are constructed on similar concept now if we talk about types of floating houses there are two types one which permanently float on water and other those float only during flood waters else get placed on the ground particularly during dry season if there is no water in fact we are not talking about the house boats where the boats are used for construction of houses and they are taken here and there and they are not on one place we are talking of the houses which remains at one place principle of floating houses can be described as floating houses do not require foundation and are based on the principle of buoyancy as we have already discussed thus they are also called buoyant homes thus the base of the structure should be such that it helps in floating as well as it is able to take the dead load of the house live loads and other loads to be encountered by the house and we must also ensure that water should not enter into the base into the house and otherwise the and it's not only the maintenance and repair problem but also it will be a problem of the uplift pressure thus the house may be constructed on boards hollow pipes lightweight pads and similar other materials which help in floating as well as taking up the loads now <clears throat> you can see here that they can houses can be on such pipes maybe of different materials maybe rcc maybe steel maybe fiber reinforced or any other similar materials also these uh, pads can be there of lightweight materials on which the houses may be constructed floating systems being used include log floats solid styrofoam and cast in rubber from filled steel pontoons concrete pontoons concrete and foam wood etc and then foam polyethylene cell with solid core polyesterine block molded inside fiber glass concrete tubes etc 
basically uh, these all floating systems are lightweight structures and also they are resist they should be resistant well resistant to the water particularly from the corrosion also principle of vertically moving floating houses is also there it means these houses will go up and come down as per the water level in the sea and thus they are to be constructed in a way that they just go up and come down and then there is a metallic frame that holds the flotation blocks and then this frame is attached to the underside of the house there are four vertical guides or poles not far from the corners of the house therefore whole house will go up inside the guides and come down the tops of the poles are attached to the frame the poles telescope out of the ground allowing the house to move up and down these houses can also be constructed through anchoring system therefore anchoring system will be there maybe on all sides and then these houses will go up and down and will remain at a place there is something like this this house is there and this is going up and down down in the guides then if we talk about the services then all the pipes ducts and wires for water gas electricity and sewage disposal in such homes are to be flexible designed to remain functional even when the house rises up or comes down from its usual position solar panels are provided for energy requirements and toilets which burn waste or do not generate sewage are to be provided recycled water may be used for flushing etc drinking water is normally collected from rains or arranged from other sources energy efficiency measures are to be provided for conservation and low requirement It is said that life in a floating house is relaxing, romantic and comfortable. But this can store less and therefore they have low storage space and because high weight is also not required. Then there is less accommodation in such houses normally. Cost cannot be worked out at this time because uh, it depends on site to site. and then heating and cooling is main problem which is to be taken care and maintenance repair should not be much and therefore if it is then it is quite costly therefore we are to construct such uh, houses almost maintenance free all types of accommodation may be constructed as floating houses thus the residential houses hotels offices restaurants and so on and there is a high need of floating houses particularly as we know due, due to climate change the sea level is rising and therefore these houses have become important in netherlands they are being constructed on large scale and also now such houses are being constructed all over the world and you can find them in internet and along with the pictures what is required is that this would also be constructed in flood affected areas particularly with economy and with low cost therefore they may be required or they may be very helpful in many countries in flood prone areas also where poor people are facing a lot of difficulties during rains therefore there is a need to construct such floating houses and develop also we should also develop curriculum for engineering and architecture education so that they, they this is taught about uh, about uh, the matter about the subject and then uh, research can also go on uh, during uh, education and then there is a need to start research on affordable floating houses 
which can be constructed not only in coastal areas but also in flood prone areas with reasonable cost and that is important so that poor people they they are benefited thanks for attending